let's talk about the first of the five steps. Here, what we're going to do is completely remove the window security. There are a couple of steps here. Uh, before we make DCOM work properly between the different PCs, really what we're going to do is to disable the Windows firewall, and then we'll also disable the data execution prevention that's set up on Windows um, on Windows XP and later. Uh, uh, don't forget, after we establish the DCOM communication, after everything is working well between the OPC client and the OPC server PCs, we'll actually re-enable everything. So we'll enable the Windows firewall and uh, we'll re-enable DEP. So let's talk about disabling the Windows firewall. Uh, don't forget that a firewall is set up uh, to secure your system so that any unauthorized access from viruses, worms, from unauthorized users, hackers, uh, anybody being malicious, or just people who don't really know what they're doing. That's what the firewall is shielding you from, unauthorized access. Now, in Windows XP, in Service Pack 2 and later, Microsoft actually enabled that firewall by default. In fact, some of you may remember uh, the troubles that you may have had when you applied Service Pack 2. Suddenly, uh, OPC applications, and not just OPC, but any applications that uh, had network communication, usually they stopped. And that's because a firewall suddenly was, uh, was turned on by default. And uh, what we'll do is we'll actually turn that off. Don't forget as well that administrators are the ones that can uh, specify exceptions and actually have access to the firewall. So if you're not an administrator, if you don't have administrator rights on your PC, you won't be able to make changes here. And uh, of course, as we said before, uh, for beginners, we really recommend that you first turn off the firewall completely. Once everything is working, then you turn it back on uh, to make sure that everything is secure. Here's how you turn it off. There's really not all that much to it. What you do is you press on the uh, Windows Start button, go to the Control Panel, and select the Windows Firewall. And you'll see this specific dialog box come up. Um, it's in the general tab and what you click on is uh, off not recommended uh, in other words Microsoft is not recommending that you turn off the firewall but we know it's temporary and we know that we're gonna put this back uh, back together so please make sure that you do put it back together once you uh, click on off then uh, then click on the OK button and suddenly your uh, Windows firewall is actually turned off Microsoft added Data Execution Prevention, or DEP, to help you uh, protect from certain malicious software uh, like viruses and worms. And this particular class actually writes, uh, uses particular data that it injects into, uh, in, into Windows. Um, Windows will then, of course, run it, and uh, voila, your computer is infected. So, data execution prevention uh, was put on by uh, by Microsoft to help stop that uh, that class of virus and, and worm. Uh, the problem is that sometimes it might actually stop legitimate applications from running, and in that case, you actually need to. Um, uh, you actually need to disable it and that's in fact what we'll do is we'll disable data execution prevention temporarily again we'll turn it back on in the fifth step so to disable DEP what you do is you right click on my computer uh, here we see it and you uh, select the properties uh, so click on properties from there you'll see the systems properties dialog box and specifically choose the advanced tab and here you see the advanced tab and in the advanced tab click in the performance uh, group click on the settings button once you click on settings uh, what you will see here is the data execution prevention tab so select the data execution prevention tab and very specifically choose the radio button that states turn on DEP for essential Windows programs and services only. Once you've done that, click OK and you've now turned off DEP for all applications. However, as I said, uh, this is just temporary and we'll turn it right back on in step number five.